Hello, 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 hello. Good night, guys. How are you? How you guys feel today? Hi, Amelia. How are you, girl? <laughs> Hi, Andres. I miss you yesterday. Hi, Joshi. Hello, good evening to good all of you. Evening. Hi, team. <laughs> good evening. Oh, it's been a pleasure to have you back. Hey, we miss you, Andres. Yesterday, what happened to you? Uh, I was sick. Oh my yesterday. God, really? Uh, yes. Ooh. Last weekend and yesterday, but now I'm better. Uh, you are better. Oh, did you when did you go to the doctor? Yes, I I have medicine, so I'm better oh. now. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you're okay. Oh, but you should let us know, okay? Yeah, I, I forgot to, to write in the WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, don't forget. You know what? Even though you're not uh, able to do it for any reasons, uh, you have to remember, guys, that we always, every night, we upload, we upload the video for a class, right? So you yes. are, I, I, with, I think in the um, email that you received prior to this um, model, you have like the link for our YouTube list. So every time you can go on and basically uh, double check yesterday's class. So you will be on the same page, right? And you review what we have seen. Yeah, I always upload it. You know what? I, that's why I always go to sleep around, oh, sometimes midnight. <laughs> Depends, uh, right? Depends on uh, how fast is the Wi-Fi and YouTube and all the stuff. Because I, already, I upload the videos uh, all nights after class. I, I love them. So the next morning around six or five or seven, whatever, you already have the video. So yes, you will uh, be able to download it. I watched the, the last You watched class. the video? Oh, that's good. Yes, uh -huh. I'm mm -hmm. so glad that you did. Hey, very good. And I'm so happy that you feel, maybe you feel like awesome today, but you feel much better and you yes, are here. I'm Thanks, teacher. Um, I'm so happy. No, mm -hmm. thank you, because you're doing an extra effort. So, uh, but you already Thanks. have uh, your your dinner? Yeah, your dinner? Yeah, yes. everybody? Uh, yeah. Everybody. Okay, cool. So if you want to grab a, a glass of water or, or a cup of coffee, hey, <laughs> you see? That is one of my favorite, um, what can I say, our favorite movies? Ratatouille. Oof, I love it. <laughs> my husband said, I think my husband already knows by memory all the dialogue because <laughs> I don't know how many times I have seen it, but I love Ratatouille. That is one of my favorite movies in the entire world. I like it. But you know what? It's really hard for me to find um, like Ratatouille souvenirs like t-shirts or pajamas or what else? I was looking for a lander. You know what lander is? No, Langer. I don't, I don't have my batch with me, <laughs> but it, you see, it, well, most of us, especially in a call center agents, right? You, you have your identification, right? Your little identification ID, right? That has your photo, your employee ID and all that stuff. And you have the thing that you put it to like, to hanging, right? Hanging your Langer, so your, your, your batch. So that little one, that little thing, that you put to to lang or to hang your your ID. That is what we call landard in English. Landard. That is the landard. Yeah. So I'm looking. I was looking for a lander because I will let you know something. Mm. I used to work in a in a call center, and uh, basically in a trilingual account, right? And I have a a coworker who was in the bilingual account, not the trilingual account, and he had a ratatouille lander because he has gone to, uh, I think, uh, Disney World but in Paris, in France. So I asked him, what? No, that's not possible. Why is it? You, I don't want to offend, but you do not speak French and you do have a Ratatouille lantern. Can, can you please be so kind to uh, give it to me? I, I will pay it. I will pay whatever you ask for. He said, no way, that's my lantern. And I was like, please. And he said, no. So you know what? I didn't convince him. 
And I was like, <laughs> and every time that I saw that, that I've seen him, and I said, you do not speak French. You do not deserve to have a ratchet jewel lander. But I was, I was teasing him, right? I didn't mean to offend him or nothing like that. We were just joking between each other. So, but can you imagine? And you know what? That was a real authentic one because at the end of the lander, it has the, the mouse and the mustacho and everything of the little rat. So the, I was like, oh my God, I want to have that. But well, maybe I think I will ask somebody if I know somebody who can travel to France, to France, because right now I don't know if it's allowed. Is is it allowed already, guys, to to travel to a different country, to Europe? You know that, or no? Not really. It's already opened, or only to Central America countries. You know, I'm just asking. Uh, there, I think that it's possible, but is it possible? Yeah. Yeah, have, well, uh, I need to find that out. That Who's going sense. to go to France? <laughs> but you know what? This little laundry is expensive. It's not. It's not cheap. So we'll have to save uh, some money. <laughs> yes, if I want to have that. In the meantime, I have a friend who does a lot of things, and I ask her to do me like a, a cup, so I can use it for my tea, for my coffee, and she created. But my husband, I don't know. He has a butter fingers, so he was washing the dishes and he scratched it. <laughs> but at least, at least it's still alive, <laughs> which is really good. <laughs> hey, we have also welcome to Fernando, who I'm going to talk today in one on one session. Hopefully, he has been prepared. Oh, yes, and drinking I, remember, a, I, remember. I don't remember. I do remember. All righty. <laughs> but welcome, Fernando. <laughs> I have Jose here also, my beautiful lady Doris. I have Kenya, Alexander, Durbin, Erwin, and Miss, Miss Kenya. Let's see who else. And, uh, 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 oh, William. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class. <laughs> all righty guys it's been a pleasure to have you here all right don't fall asleep Andres. no of course address if you're taking medication sometimes it's a secondary consequence of that so don't worry about that okay i understand <laughs> all righty so tell me um josue i want to know how was your day today did you do anything special mm, no oh. i was uh, mm -hmm. uh doing uh maintenance of my car oh maintenance of your car yeah oh it was your day off no no, no. it's, it's change the oil of the uh, oh, okay like a regular automatic. maintenance uh-huh yeah, yeah. oh okay that's good and you do it yourself or you have a specific mechanic no, no, who helps I you with pay that? for that ah, yeah. uh, uh, uh. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'm asking you because there's some things that my husband does it himself, but there's some things as well that he doesn't know, right? So he has to pay somebody else to do it for him. Yeah, but yeah. I, when it's uh, um, uh, engine oil, uh -huh. I can, but it's ah, okay. automatic transfers. Is, is, uh, is no, that is another okay. business, man. That is yeah, another yeah. business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, especially nowadays, the, the, the most recent cars, right? Sometimes yeah. they're a little bit complicated. Yeah. But what do you prefer, guys, to, to drive uh, automatic cars or standard ones? Ready? What do you prefer? Automatic. Automatic. Why? I think you have more control of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's easy. <laughs> uh, well, imagine, I imagine with, uh, with the automatic, if it's something it just pops out out of nowhere. Uh huh. We actually stop the car. Uh huh. Right away, and with the manual car, you, you need to um, chip chip gear down. So. Uh huh. Exactly. And you know what? I don't know, but my ankles and my arms get hard every time that I that I drive a standard car. Oh no way! Because I remember that when I learned to drive, I learned it in an old fashioned pickup. So can you imagine? Oh my goodness! No way. That was horrible. <laughs> and now that I have an automatic, it's like, woo. -hoo. But I had to go to the transportation ministry because I need to lay I request my driver license. I <laughs> yeah. learned that on a driving school. Really? Yeah, I think so. You know what? That is one of my goals. 
to because I know how to drive, but of course I need to get the driver license, right? To to do it in a, in a, in a good way, in the correct way. Yes. You don't have a license. I don't, but I, it doesn't mean that I do not. I don't. Do, that's why I don't drive. Because my my husband said no way. You don't have a driver license. You're not allowed to drive. It's like okay. Yeah, if you have an accident. That's a big problem. Uh huh. Uh huh. When we are like when we're when we're going like close to our house like a supermarket or something like that, I do drive and he's next to me, right? But in this case, no, I do not do, right now. He said, no way. Because you, since I do not let you drive, you got to go again and take classes, right? Just to do like a friendly reminder, yeah. right? And get used to it. And then, of course, you can also get the driver license. And now I think you have to have like a, some kind of psychology exam, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That so you know easy. what? I think that I'm not going to pass that. <laughs> you can download an app. Because the, tree, the teacher is like cuckoo sometimes, right? So I don't think I'm going to pass the psychology exam. I don't think so. But I will do my best. <laughs> Hopefully I pass. I will let you know, right, if I pass or not, okay? Because <laughs> you know what? Uh, but I think the psychology test and also the... The transportation vice minister test as well, right? There are two tests, right? Yeah. Or only one, or two, right? Okay. It, it, when my sister got a driver license, I remember that the the second test was like a randomly, but I in a driving test. Yeah, uh -huh, you might be yeah, like lucky is. to get it, but in this yeah, case, everybody has to pass it, right? Yeah. Okay. Zee. All right. Okay, so I will do my best. And I will ask Whiskey to be my co-pilot. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He always loves to go next to me. Yes. So I, I was thinking if I do not drive a, a, a car, at least a motorcycle. Motorcycles are cute. Oh, yes, I love the Harley Davidson. I love them. No, but this, in, in, I think in El Salvador is too dangerous, right? To drive a motorcycle. Yeah. It's too dangerous. Especially with the biker bus drivers and bus drivers. Oh, no way. Yes. Well, let me think about it. Okay, that is one of my goals, guys. At least for this year. I'm not going to let you know when I'm going to do it, right? Because I need to arrange my schedules. Because I'm, believe it or not, I'm a really busy girl, you know? I'm a really busy girl, yeah. So I need to make arrangements for that. But I will let you know once I got it. I will show it to you. I don't know if I will show it to this model, but I will send it to you a picture. Okay? All right, there you go. So this is what Mr. Josue Alberto has done today. What about um Amelia? Now I I can see ya, and yesterday you were like, <sighs> right? Now I can see that you have more energy today. So tell me, how was your day today? Oh. Yeah, because yesterday I was just starting to. Uh huh. Oh, of course, that's I don't understand. That's why I was uh, sleeping. Yeah. Uh, today we saw a normal day, I guess, because I mean, I woke up earlier. Um, I was working all day and reports and creating some tasks and calling contractors and all this all day. Mm -hmm. And afternoon, uh, today, you know, was, was not hard to coming home. Oh, that's nice. Because the transportation is like a regular, more regular. So finally, could, right? Yeah, finally <laughs> I could <Yeah>. sleep <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, oh. because you can arrive earlier and take a little bit of rest, right? And have your dinner like in the um, calm lane and then be ready to rock and roll in the English class. So that's good. I'm ready. You're ready <laughs> to rock and roll, girl. That's my girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right. And we have Telma also who enjoyed today's class and Blanky. Yeah. Very good. Okay, guys. Excellent. That was amazing. Ah, okay. We already started today's class. Okay. Guys, who can tell me? Hopefully, because everybody was really, really, really sleepy yesterday. All right. Even though the teacher almost dancing in front of you. All right. But uh, could you please let me know what was the class about yesterday? What did we see? We made a conflict. Very good. <laughs> Joshi, I knew Joshi will answer that question. Yeah. Remember that was girls versus boys. And finally, who won? Uh, just because they 
they were looking the boys <laughs> oh my god Ona. you see she still has strong feelings from against you guys <laughs> exactly yeah but the guys won right unfortunately or no fortunately the guys won right all right mm -hmm. very good so just mm -hmm. well is it like mm -hmm. <laughs> all righty so we are talking about the conflict yesterday we create a conflict actually right and we saw also a video related to how can Helen and how, how can we resolve conflict as well all righty we're going to continue with that a little bit but first of all guys um i remember that yesterday we did a uh, some kind of role plays right remember that yeah there were three guys right the role plays okay so uh, uh i think you already you still have the screenshot with you right of the dialogue, I think, because I sent it through the WhatsApp. So, okay, have it ready, because I will ask you a specific question about that right now. Have it ready. And, I, and we're going to play it again, actually. I'm going to formulate three questions, and I want you guys to answer as quickly as possible. I don't care if it's a woman, if it's a man, don't worry. But if you have some girl, you're gonna get one point for girls, okay? And vice versa. All righty, so you ready? Yeah, it's rock and roll. <laughs> there you go. Okay, hopefully you have all the picture ready. Let me ask you this question really quickly. Uh, oh, based exactly of the dialogue yesterday, what are the causes of the conflict between Sally and Hugo? What are the causes, the causes of the conflict? Hurry up, time counts. You personally, both, both they personals. Are, uh -huh. they, are, they are different personally. They have a different personalities. All right, very good. That is one of the causes. If there's any other causes, another cause, or only one. Very good, mm -hmm. Doris. One point for the girls. Only that? Are you sure? No, John. Uh -huh. I need causes, causes of conflict between Sally and Hugo. One of them is what Dory has mentioned, but there's another one as well. Mm. Who or he can't stand how she allows her subordinate to do whatever they want. Uh-huh, very good. So basically, they don't like each other how the way they do their job, right? Mm-hmm, excellent, very good. So one and one, Oof, we're tied. Okay, now tell me something. What was Richard's attitude toward the conflict? What was Richard's attitude toward the conflict? If he's with Sally, he's with Hugo, he's in the middle, tell me. What was his attitude? He was trying to solve the problem. Uh-huh, so what kind of attitude he has? Positive. Positive. He's in the middle. Uh, in the middle, uh -huh, we can say very good. So we have two and two. Very good, guys. This is the final one. Of who's going to win? <laughs> That's an interesting question. All righty, there you go. So the last one is, what would you have done to resolve the conflict? Ah, That's a personal question. Uh-huh. What would you have done to resolve the conflict between Sally and Hugo? What would you have done? Uh huh, Doris. Oh my yeah. gosh, she's get fighting together, for the girls. Get them together and make them uh, arrange their difference. Uh huh, that's a good one. Are you agree with uh, with Fre Freddy's Doris? Yes, uh, and, uh, 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 the creature sit down uh -huh. to uh, both and. Uh, he asked uh, both uh, the qualities the the other. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. Exactly. Basically, is 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 part of what Freddie said. Very good, uh, guys. What uh, Doris said and what Freddie said that is a really good point. Uh, have you done something different, or you have done exactly the same of what they said, guys, to resolve the problem? Erwin, tell me that. I need to listen experience, please. 
Uh -huh. If you were in the situation of Sally and Hugo, how would you resolve the conflict? I don't know, Fernando, Kenya, Amelia, Francisco, William, anybody, Jervin, Joshi? Only one. I know everybody wants to participate, but I only need only one opinion. Tell me that, tell oh, me. Okay, uh, Richard mentioned mm -hmm. uh, to Bernie that, uh, that the problem does, a, does not allow then uh, to grow then. Uh -huh. Exactly. So you will, you, will, you will have done, tell me that exactly what Richard did. I think so, right? Yeah, Talmita will act exactly like Richard. He, mm -hmm. he took, he talking about it. He uh, mentioned mm -hmm. about uh, your personality. Okay. Uh huh. So you will like put in the table that basically focus not on the personality, but focus on the positive thing that each other have, right? Very good, excellent, good job, excellent. All righty, um, you will face some type of conflicts, right, guys, in the in the future. Maybe that the same of Sally and Yuko, maybe it's something else. I will share right now with you a different type of conflicts, and I want your guys your opinion about that, because this I think this is like really what can I say, uh, really common situation if we can say that. Let me share right now my screen with you. There you go. Okay, let me put it a little bit bigger for you to see it. Okay, guys, there you go. I'm showing you right now, basically, type of conflict that could take in the place of, of the work. So we have the type of conflict, we have it here. There you go, we're in me for a couple of minutes. Let's see. Let me check this one. Okay, these are the type of conflicts. Do you see here on my left side? Yep. Okay, so guys, I just want you to help me uh, put it from one to five. When one is the less common, no, sorry, for one is the most common and five is the less common. Take a look. Personally, styles, poor communication, Conflict of interests and values, corrupt or fraudulent intents, and miscommunication. From, from this list, which one do you consider that is the number one? That is the most common conflict at work. Take a look, think about it, and then give me your opinion. Miscommunication for me. Mis miscommunication. Are you agree with Doris, guys, or you do have a different opinion about that? I I am agree with with Doris. You are agree with yeah. Doris? Okay. All righty, very good. Who else? Freddy's, Joshi, Fernando. I don't know. Kenya. Communication. Miscommunication. Poor com poor communication or miscommunication? Can we have a? This is something different. The second one, poor, poor communication. communication. Poor communication. So you, so you said that poor communication, it should be number one. The second one. Oh, the second one. No, I, no, of course, I mean, but is that is the one of the first uh, things, oh. right? One of the, the, the most common one, poor communication. Okay, so that's the first place. What about the second place? What is number two? I think it's conflict of interest. Because oh, but, want, huh? always uh, the people is fighting for the the things that they want. So uh -huh. or they discuss about the different ideas that they, they get. Okay, that's a good one. Are you agree with Amelia? Yoshi, Flanky, Fernando, Erwin, yes. Francisco? Yeah. All righty, Francisco said conflict of interest and values. All righty. So I think everybody is agree in this case with Miss Amelia that it should be number two. Okay. What about number three? We start missing personality styles, 
corrupt or fraudulent intents and miscommunication, which will be number three. What do you think, guys? We're talking about the most common conflicts at work. Mm -hmm. Personality types. Personality types. Are you agree with her, guys? With your, with your classmate? Yeah, Josue, I don't know, Fernando, Lanky, are you agree with her? She said the number three is personality types, style, sorry. Are you agree with that or no? Yes. Yes, yes Lanky? Yes. Uh huh. For me, it's miscommunication. Miscommunication. Why you consider the miscommunication in the number three most common conflict? Because always um, the people misunderstood the, the information that they have. And when they pass to another, uh, maybe they, they can, I don't know, uh, they can give uh, the wrong information and that's create the miscommunication, I think. It's common for me, I think. Teacher, you are mute. My goodness, I didn't mute. Now, can you listen to my beautiful voice? Yes, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so you agree with your uh, coworker that miscommunication will be the number three in the ranking from one to five, the most common conflict at work. Are you agree with her? Andres, William? Yes. Yes, all right. So let's put number three as a miscommunication. All right, what about number four? We still have personality styles corrupt or fraudulent interests? Personality type. Which one you said? Sorry, guys. Personality style. Personality style. That means number four. Okay. And number five is going to be corrupt, right? Corrupt or fraudulent intents. All righty. Very good, guys. Excellent job. All right. So, we have one, two, three, four, and five. All righty. When we're talking about personality styles, guys, the most prevalent causes could be jealousy, poor communication, poor performance, right? For example, if you work in a call center like Amelia, I think so, Joshi, Andres, right, and Kenya, if you have a poor communication or if your supervisor has a poor communication related to what is expecting for you, right? or what you're doing good or what you're not doing good, do you think you will have a good performance? What do you think? Yes or no? No. No, right? Exactly. And, and also Fernando, right? Because you have like, a, you have a boss, right? You have a supervisor, right? Or I don't know if you're the supervisor in the area, I don't know. But um, uh, yes, I, I have a manager. You have a manager, right? So al also the manager gives you like a feedback, right? I don't know if it's a daily feedback, monthly feedback or weekly feedback, but he has to communicate what are the expectations from you, right? Imagine yes. that, that if you do not have that and if you have a poor communication, do you think you will comply with what they're expecting for? Or you will have a good or bad performance? Uh, I will have a, a bad performance because uh, maybe you 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 have to know what is the what is that you are reaching. Uh huh. What you are doing good, right? Yes. And what you're not doing good, and if you're not doing good, at least you can expect from a manager to give you a tips how can improve you can improve in the area that you are deficient, right? Yes. Yeah, so you think that's really important. So poor communication, poor performance. What about conflict of interest and values? Opposite position. I think it's what, um, I think it was Kenny, I think said that or Blanky about it. What about corrupt or fraudulent intents? Power struggles, right? And finally, miscommunication, an employee having a bad 
day. For example, guys, tell me, let me ask you something. Miscommunication is important not only in the environment, a situation of, of um, workplace, what we are talking about, but as well, it's really important. It depends on any, any kind of relationship that we have, family relationship, friendship relationship, husband and wife relationship, and so on. Guys, let me ask you, does men, oh no, yeah. Yeah, do men uh, communicate like the same way as girls do? Yes or no? No. No, right, Blanky? Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, for the way that I evaluate the people, uh -huh. I think the men, the men are um, too direct to say the things, but women, uh, we are, we take a lot of, of I don't know how to say rodeo <laughs> to ah. one point, I don't know. Uh, so basically men are going straight to the point and we're like going to run around to, to focus or on the main yeah, point. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I speak for myself because uh -huh. I always <laughs> run and run and I don't, and, and, and I, I confuse everyone that that <laughs> to me, and, and then I, I I only have one thing to to say, and, and I explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end, you said, "But do you understand what I mean, right?" And everybody's like, "Yes." <laughs> All righty, yeah, yeah, right. you know, yeah, that happens. But it, can it, can you imagine, for example, if your boss is a man or your boss is a woman? There's they have their own ways to communicate things, right? And I don't know if that had happens to you guys. Maybe I think Fernando or Jose or Erwin or also Andres, right? Who well, they're already married. You communicate something and you didn't mean to hurt the feelings of your wife, but your wife understood your message in a different way. And you were like, honey, why you act like that way? It's, it's because like, you hurt my feelings because you say this and this and this. Oh, but I didn't mean to say it like that way. I didn't mean to say it like this. That was not my intention. But I felt that way. And, and you see, you were like, like trying to to solve the problem, to solve the conflict. Because maybe you you didn't want to hurt her feelings, but she understood in a different way. So that's why it's really important to communicate well. Because if we have a miscommunication, the message that we pretend to transmit. Maybe the other half did not get it or got it in a wrong way. So you see what is really important? There you go. Not only in a family relation, but a most important in the work relation environment. Very good. Okay, now guys, let me do a, a vocabulary recap so for something that we already have seen, but as well, I need your help. And in this case, uh, 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 um, Yes, I will show it to you right now. Hey, Erwin, I like the color of your, of your shirt. I like it, it's nice. There you go. So let me share it right now, my screen with you. Let me go back. All right, guys, have you, do you remember that we already saw that? The definition of conflict management, like avoid, accommodate, compromise, collaborate, and compete. Do you remember that? Yeah, right, or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do me a favor, help me, help me. I just want to know because this, this is the definitions. This is the one, this one, the one that we have here above with the yellow thing, with the yellow, with the orange thing. So could you please be so kind to let me know what would be the definition from a boy? One, two, three, four, or five. Who can help me with that? Only one volunteer I need. That's all that I need. What about you, Fernando? What do you think? Avoid. I think Fernando is like, uh huh, waiting for a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Fernando. Okay, Fernando, do me a favor. Help me. On the first place here, on the top of the page, here, let me double check here. Here, 
I do have a management style. Do you remember that we have seen in the previously class? Avoid, accommodate, compromise, collaborate, and compete. And here, here are the possible, uh, we can set description of each management style. So could you please be so kind to double check uh, carefully the definition and tell me which of those fits appropriately on the avoid? What is avoid? Number one, two, three, four, or five. Avoid. Uh -huh. what Number, five. Number five. Number five. Number five. The employees don't talk to each other. Under mm, very good. Yes, that's a good one. Are you help Fernando? That's not possible. Hey uh, Fernando, you're a leader. I... Yeah. The second one, Fernando, please. Come on, second one, Fernando. Ah, and you know what? I have a right hand teacher, Mr. Willie Alexander. <laughs> he is always he is always from the beach. Uh, uh, yeah, he is. I think he's uh, he's in the summertime, right? When the weather is fine. All right, very good. Okay, thank you, Fernando, and, and thank you for the help for your co-workers. <laughs> All righty, William. Now that William wants to participate a lot. Very good, it's excellent, man. What about you, William? What do you think a comma day will be the meaning of that? Number one, two, three, or four? Uh -huh. Accommodate. Uh -huh. mm, I don't know, teacher. Okay, help William. I'm not sure. You're not sure. Okay, don't worry. And you can ask the help for your co workers. Please, guys, help me. Uh huh. We already Maybe have a point, right? Both uh, parties. Could be agreeing to set a conflict. So which one you said accommodate was it? To accommodate, agreeing uh, to set a conflict by mutual concession. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Not really. <laughs> uh, maybe the I guess number three. Employees? No, the employees is already number uh, avoid. Number five. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who's, who said three. number three? Number Which one? The first one. Accommodate. Yes. Disregard for the needs of the other person to solve a conflict? Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. Is everybody agree with your, co with your classmate, guys? Is on number one? Hello? <laughs> is it number one? Yes or no? I think that is number three. Number two, and number three, accommodate. Both yes. parties work together to oh, find a mutual satisfaction that. solution? Mm -mm, I don't think so. <laughs> the, first. the first one. Okay. It's good. I don't know how to say this figure, figure. for uh -huh. the other person to solve a conflict. All righty. So, Accommodate is number one and avoid is number five. Excellent, good job. What about compromise? Giovanni, what do you think? Compromise is the same uh, meaning in the Spanish, compromiso, compromise. Maybe number three. Number yeah. three, both parties work together to find. Oh, uh -huh. no. Uh huh. That's a good one. But uh, who has a different opinion? The fourth one. Meeting the needs of the man. I don't know. Compromise. Comprometerse. Uh huh. Okay, it's the second one for me. For you, is the second one. Yes, yes, I'm agree with yeah, that. I'm bringing to see them. Okay. My mutual concession, it's like a marriage, right? It's uh -huh. something that people Yay, have. So, very good. Excellent. What about collaborate? Both parties work together. Both parties work together. Number three. Yeah, that was easy peasy queasy, right? And, uh, and the last one, compete. Meeting them, meeting the other person to satisfy 
are out. Oh my God, that's good. You see, guys, I know that we already have seen that, but it's really important to like take a refresh on that, all right? Or do a recap. Why? Because you're about to do something for me. <laughs> Teacher, I knew it. I knew what you said. Uh -huh. All right, let's come back together. Well, everybody turn off the cameras. No way. Hello. Uh -huh. I want to see your beautiful faces now. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Glandy. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Now that we have seen um, basically the type of conflicts and that we have revealed the management styles, I'm going to ask you something. But before I do that, I'm going to share both information to the WhatsApp because for the coming exercise, you will need that information just like to review it, okay? So just allow me a couple of minutes. And I'm going to share it right now with you. So bear with me for a couple of minutes, if you don't mind. Let me open here my WhatsApp on my computer. Because I do not regularly open, but I'm going to open it right now. There you go. So it does allow me a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, let me do it here in a different way. Okay, and as soon as you got the information, let me know, okay? All right, I'm sending to you right now the type of conflict that we have just seen from one to five. Remember that we number them. And now I'm gonna send it to you basically the most recently one, the, the conflict management. So just allow me a couple of minutes for. Let me know once you receive it, please. I know it's taking forever, but allow me a couple of minutes more. In the meantime, when you are receiving something, I will let you know what we are going to do. Based on these two things, uh, um, we're going to work uh, in pairs, guys. And you're going to choose two conflict management styles, and you're going to create two situations where, where you help to resolve the conflict. That's what we are gonna do. Do you understand what we're going to do? Would you like me to do to provide you that information one more time? Uh huh. Do you, can you listen to me? Or do you already receive that information, guys, or not really? Not yet. No yet? Mm. No, yet. It's it's really I don't weird. receive the information yet. You have not. Okay, let me do it one more time. Maybe it's like some kind of delayed. That's what I think. Sometimes that happens. Alrighty, there you go. I should change my computer. Hmm. I think you have bad internet service. Not really, to be honest with you. Normally, I do have a really good internet service, but if that still causes me a problem, basically, I will um, you know, contact uh, direct, directly you to know them. What happens too? Really? And um, the computers, when you're in the class on Zoom, uh -huh. actually, you almost use like around 20 megabytes. Oh, yeah, but that shouldn't be a problem. Because to be honest with you, I have 40 megabytes. Like Maybe someone of... else in the house is connected too. So that's no. why. It's... You know what? My husband is not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know what? When, when my husband is here, of course, right? There is like a delay or something like that. But no, my husband is not here. So it shouldn't be any problem about that. You shouldn't. I don't have children. <laughs> Why? No, I, I'm not. I don't have children. Well, I would. I will let you know um, in another moment why I do not have children. 
Okay. It's not that I don't want to just yet. I couldn't. I couldn't have one. Okay. But I love kids. Definitely, I love them by heart. I love them so much. Well, I have a niece actually, so she's usually oh, she could say that is kind of my baby girl. I have one and a half. One and a half? Yeah. One and a half. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but it doesn't want to cooperate with me, even though I wanted to, to send it to you guys. So I'm going to share right now my screen really quickly. In the meantime, I'm going to fix this. So do me a favor. Uh, try to take a screenshot from uh, from my um, from my computer. Try to take the screenshot there for the first one, and let me know what you already have done, so I can send it to you the different one, another one. Did you take a screenshot already? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Let's move on to the second one. What about this one? <laughs> Tell me if you're able to it. Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. So let me go back to business. So basically what you're going to do, I'm going to double check and report this really quick. So what we are going to do, thank you so much, Mary. Um, <laughs> we just got the message. <laughs> yeah. So what you're going to do, guys, basically you will use the two information that you just took a screenshot and you're going to work on this in pairs you're going to create a two situation when you're resolving two type of conflicts. You can choose whatever one from one to five. It doesn't matter, but you're going to work in pairs. I'm going to give it to you. It's 846 right now. Wait, 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 wait. So we're going to have to choose one of the situations or what on the- Yes, you have to choose two conflict management styles. Uh Okay. Uh -huh. And you have to create two situations where you help to resolve a conflict. You got it? Got it. Okay. Okay, cool. So let me double check how many we are. 15, right? With me, it doesn't count. All right. So let me create right now. Right now we have 847. Do you think that 15 minutes will be enough? Yeah. Or should I give you 20? An hour. An hour? <laughs> ah, yes, of course. And you were talking about the beach, like William, for example. Hey, what is the tune called, right? San Diego, I don't know, et cetera. No way. No. I will give you, um, because I know that it's really hard you to think, right, about the situation. And maybe Mr. Fernando needs a cup of coffee. What a Coke will work. Uh huh. I will give you 20 minutes. Will that work? And then we're going to come back, okay? So let me double check right now. Who's going to be with who? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me double check. Alex, you're gonna work with uh, Doris. Let's see, Andres, you're gonna work with Blanky. Uh, Erwin, you're gonna work with Glandy. Uh, Fernando, you're going to work with Kenya. Uh, Fridays, you're going to work with uh, Thelma. Let me check it out. Amelia, you're going to work with uh, 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 Jarvin. And who else? Jose and William. And Jesse and Jocelyn, they're going to work together. There you go. Richard, I'm driving right now. Okay, don't worry, take your time. That's okay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. All righty, please accept the invitation if you don't mind and work on it. You can grab a cup of coffee, a glass of water, that's fine for me.
Hi, eh, Andrés en Blanquita. Is everything okay? Do you understand the activity? We have to choose to conflict management style uh -huh. and create two situations. About. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Alrighty, so work together. If you have any doubts, any questions, you can just shut, right? Via Zoom, and then we'll, I will help you a lot. Okay, so I will leave you too, and I'm going to double check about the other guys. Yes. Continue working, okay? Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. The type of conflict that could take place for mm -hmm. Do you understand, guys, what you are going to do? I, teacher, I think, I think, teacher, uh -huh. I think we will, arrive, we will speak about the conflict in the bad company. Yes, basically, the, remember that the second uh, picture that you the took second, a screenshot uh, the, is a management last, styles, right? Yes, but I, okay. want, I, want, I, want to, I want to see this picture in the in the in the in the book that I can find. Okay, yes. For basically the the management style, you need to select two of them. And based on the two of them, you will need to create a scenario yeah. or a situation. Oh, yeah, 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 the situation. But teacher, I have one question. Let me know, please. Let me know. You would like to find uh, where is it located in the student book? Yes. No, oh. no, no, okay. I can let you know I that. Think that. I think that I have this. I can share the. the, 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 the... Oh, is it... okay. I can share. Okay. But we have to make a one example. One uh -huh. example about the. Did you have a personality side, jealous, poor communication? No, no. Basically, I want two examples or two situations where you help. To resolve a conflict, and you need to choose either a boy situation, compromise, collaborate, accommodate, or compete. Either of those. That, those are the management styles. So you need to select two of them, and based on that, create a situation and where you're helping resolve the problem. Yeah, <clears throat> because after, after that, you're going to share the situation that you have created. With another co workers. Yes, Glendy. I'm sorry. It may be an example when you have two employees and you promote uh, one mm -hmm. employee, and maybe another employee have a yellow, yellow, uh -huh. and how I resolve this conflict for the this employee. Exactly. So basically, that could be maybe collaborate, right? Because even though one of them get promoted, but we need basically like to agree to set the conflict and work together, right? Work together to find out a mutual situation. So basically, it could be co collaborate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That would be one of them. But you are missing another example. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me double check the other guys. Let's see what's going on here. In the TV shows, is very common conflict mm -hmm. like that, and at the, at the end, mm -hmm. they use that that kind of management of conflicts. Aha. Uh -huh. So oh, how is cool. everything going, Kenny and Fernando? Uh, we are thinking about what what are the the person that we will be in the conversation uh -huh. for collaborate. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, collaborate. So one of them. That is one in management style. What would be the other one? Uh, avoid. Avoid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, you can do just one dialogue and you can combine both of them if you think about it. Doesn't okay. have to be like. Does it have to be like two separate dials? Uh, you can combine both of them. No, it's As, easier. It's easier. Oh, excuse me. Dialogue, dialogue. No, no, it's, it's easier than <laughs> it's two easy dialogue. peasy queasy, you know. No, no, no. It's, it's easier <laughs> one dialogue than two dialogues. Ah, no. Yes, that's true. But the, the real um, <laughs> we can say challenge 
is to combine the two management yes, styles into that, one, that right? Problem. That is so problem. different. I they know. So different. No, you, yeah, they are so different, but sometimes they got one or two or more management style in one situation. So what you gotta do is like, think about it. I will give you time, okay? Don't worry. Think about it. Let me double check with all the guys. Okay. okay. Alrighty. You're doing great, guys. I'm so glad and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Entonces, Roberto, lo reúne en... Oh, my God. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just use your imagination. I'm just here. Oh, okay. I just want to know, guys, how you feel. Uh, are you doing good? Yeah? Oh. Yes, yes. No problem. No problem. Okay. Very good. Let me double check with the other guys, okay? Yes. All righty. Go ahead. So, Susie... Susi necesita mandar correos a los proveedores para comprar los suministros. Send email. Send email. For, for to make. purchase of material the immediate or, or a conflict yes i have to do because for my job <laughs> uh, really yes uh, right now i am working as a manager a manager so, yes so i have to do a lot of things and i have to make the the, the, the people work excuse me I didn't know that we were talking with a manager here. Oh, <laughs> all right. Continue, Jarvin. Don't worry. Okay, and this is the reason why I know some some characteristics about it. Because two years ago, I was I was working as a supervisor too, and I have to work with only with men, and I have to say the men are difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because I have to work with the people has a different age ages. Oh yeah, I got it. Sometimes so, it's hard. Yeah. yeah different so opinions. Yes, the oldest are so serious and the youngest are crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's different. And you are in the middle, right? Yes. <laughs> so you're not serious, you're not crazy, you're neutral. Yes. All we right. have to, to be in neutral. Exactly. But you know what? It, the first time that I that I saw you, for me, you were junk, right? Of course, because both of you are still junk for me. <laughs> yes, I'm on my 40s and leave it like that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you look so nice. I think you, you are a really nice supervisor. You look like my supervisor because my supervisor is younger than me. <laughs> and I was like, damn, no way. Yes, but yeah, <laughs> but you know what? You look like him. But sometimes it's different. It's uh -huh. difficult because when the people watch you, junkies, uh -huh. they say, how, how a junkies person? And this kid, what, what he will be able to teach me, right? No way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a person who's mentally, I think that, well, sometimes it's really hard to handle people with what you said, of course, it's really hot. As man, woman, ages, and all things that are like, make conflict sometimes. But um, I'm a person who always think that uh, my performance, I try to do my best to reach the goals and the metrics that they ask me to do, because I know that my performance does not affect only me as a person, as individual, as an employee. Also, my performance affects my team, and the facts that account and reflects a positive or a negative image to the client, right? Yeah. So if I do, do not do my best, I will screw it up, right? Yeah, especially with my with my manager because my manager is will be has to put the face right in front of the <laughs> yeah in front of the client. And if this doesn't show in a positive results, like the client said, you're not uh, you're not doing or or. It's, we are, you're not complying with the expectation that we wanted. We just need to search somebody else and bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
right? Yes. So no way. Okay, now that the teachers have give you like an extra information, <laughs> it's time for you to continue. You can do a dialogue. And if you want to, you can, uh, you can use the two a scenario, the two management styles. You can put a collaborate, avoid it, complete it, etc. You can use two in one. So don't complicate your life, okay? Okay. All righty. Okay, so uh, excuse me, as Mr. Supervisor Guevara. <laughs> I'm going to double check somebody else, all right? And then I will come back with you. We still have, I think, five minutes. So we're good enough, all right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's continue. Bye-bye. Okay. I will not interrupt you anymore. Bye-bye. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, vaya, ya están sus ideas? Yeah. Okay, so, now with the second one. Oh my God, you have a supervisor tone of voice. Yeah. Oh. Right, Josue? Huh? Miss, miss. Uh, I have a question. Go uh, ahead, your, uh, Josue. Um, the phrase uh, ah. sentimiento generalizado when translated ah. to English is white pretty feeling or is a generalized uh, feeling? Uh, I, don't, I don't get your question. How can translate the phrase in Spanish sentimientos generalizados como, como algo? You said general is feelings? That, yeah, is is that. Yeah, general feelings. And the phrase is, is a general feeling of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's just simple. Don't worry about that. No pre-feelings. No, pre-feeling does not exist. No, general feelings. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You can say general feelings, general doubts. General uh, afraid depends. Okay. All right. So let's continue working. We have um, three more minutes. Okay. So don't worry. Let me double check another guy. So I'll be right back with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, another. Uh... No, no. For example, we have, we already have the problem, right? We have the okay. personal styles and the conflict of interest. So for example, we can have uh, some problem with in our company and we want to look at a solution. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see. Mm, I am fighting for a good schedule because I am older than the other people and my team leader provided a good schedule for her and not me. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> now, for example, uh, the schedule is a little bit difficult to handle. Yeah. I was fighting for, before uh, for a good schedule and it was hard. <laughs> Yes, uh, the, the main problem that I have when I was a supervisor is that one of my, my co-worker, for example, they have a permission to study. Oh, and he, he always work at night. And at night, you get a little bit more pay because you, for the, I don't I know English, Y por la nocturnidad. I don't know who's mm -hmm. saying it. Night so, shift. Night 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 shift. Night. My goodness, what's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, and remember, night shift, or also you can say graveyard. Okay. Can you repeat the last one? Graveyard. Rage, okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Pretend that I'm not here. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. The another one. Don't don't change her his schedule because we have someone working in that schedule. Now feel they have, but they need to follow. Yeah. 
How can we change that? Well, maybe we can explain in a, in a um, words. Okay, we can. It's something about the collaboration, right? Uh, maybe we can we can put that a uh, something like the team one has had the the most I, I don't know how to put it something about the tools but the better tools. Uh, yeah something like that uh, the the team number one have better better tools than the team number two uh, the mana the manager uh, I don't know know about that. Brother, brother yeah. is, what does it mean, brother? Sorry, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I put high because. Because Andres want to find my 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 username in, in WhatsApp. Sorry, teacher. Imagine you are a contractor with two crews. Okay. What is the word that you don't have? Uh, brother, you don't know? Sorry? Uh, I will put it in the brother. Brother. Uh huh. Did you finish, guys? You want me to tell you the truth? No. <laughs> no, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Actually, we only well in my group with Thelma, we only finish one conversation. Ah, okay. Oh, yes. Or the next one. Ah, okay. But don't worry. Even though it is a finished convers one conversation, you can join another management style at the same time. Okay. So don't worry. Okay, if you have just finished one, yeah. that's okay. If you finish two, marvelous. All right. Don't worry. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, I uh, only one conversation only. One conversation only. Oh, look at Glendy's baby. Oh, how old is your baby, Glendy? I don't know if she's listened to me. Yeah, it was a baby girl, right? I love her right now. Maybe she needs to double check right now with her. All right, so who's ready? Oh, okay. Um, let's listen, Amelia and Jarvin. Guys, it, but do me a favor. Do not set which management style did you select, okay? Don't say that. Everybody else needs to guess it. And then after they said their opinion, you're going to let us know if the rest of the guys were uh, good or not, okay? Okay. okay. The scenario Perfect. is all yours. Go ahead, guys. Okay, I have to be honest and and we have to, we did in a conversation. Of we course. only shared some experience okay. and we were talking about the conflict at work uh -huh. and we select some solution for that problem. Mm -hmm. And for example, we, we select some solution and our get a balance with mm -hmm. the coworkers and for example, when you have a big problem, mm -hmm. and you have to show the the from your personal that we are we are looking the same the same solution for that problem. Mm -hmm. So before that, 
it doesn't matter that we have the, the different ideas about it, but we have to show that the, the solution is we, what is, sorry, is, uh, is the, how can I say? Do your best. Let me, let me think a little. Do not give up, do not give up. You have it there. It didn't come up, it's like this, like, throw it away. Yes, the, the way is the same matter. We are looking at the solution. This Very good. Principle. Okay, so tell us, what is the conflict? What is the situation? Is conflict of interest values. Aha, very good. Okay, so uh, explain it to us. Uh, okay, um, let's ask Amelia. Amelia, you work with Amelia, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Amelia, so tell us what happened. Help Jarvin. Okay, okay. Um, we were talking about a, a problem that is really common in different uh, areas of call centers, for example. Call uh -huh. centers, for example. And when when people uh, like a, a like a example, sorry, was like a, um, when we differ, when we get one schedule, but different interests are uh, of, of people. I mean, uh -huh. because I'm sorry, because I am older than this, because I deserve it or something like this. This kind this kind of comments are really uh, usual. So it's difficult for a manager uh, try to decide uh, with. I mean, the people that really get need the, the schedule. Uh -huh. Well, because all people are fighting, I will say, fighting for the, the best schedule or mm -hmm. for the own interest. So it, we were talking about this, how to handle the, this kind of situation. Aha, uh -huh. and okay, and then the, that is the scenario, right? Schedule yeah, conflict. Nice. All righty, so Jarvin, how will we handle this? You have to choose what is the advantage of the schedule that you have? Uh -huh. And this is the, the why you have to, to have the, the employees noted. Mm -hmm. And they're going to understand what they are working in that schedule. And how, and how you're going to let them know that? For example, I, I was talking about with Amelia that I have some employees that he he's studied mm -hmm. and he always work at night mm -hmm. so i and another one want to work all at night too mm -hmm. and i says okay you work every single day and and he told me yes after that i said you have a, you have a wife and he told me yes mm -hmm. and and i says imagine if, if, if you don't sleep with your wife every single night, you're going to meet her. Uh -huh. And he told me, yes, that's true. So what do you prefer? Work uh -huh. at night or, or sleep with your, your, with your wife? And he told me, sleep with my, with my wife. Uh -huh. So he said, ah, you are right. I have the best schedule. Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> That's nice. And that and that had re and really happened to you, right? Yes. That was a real scenario. All righty, yeah. very good. Guys, so based on what they said, tell us what type of management style uh, did they select it to solve the problem? Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. That was a really good example. Uh-huh. Okay, it smells like something is burning. Uh -huh. he, said it, he said it in the middle of the conversation. They choose some conflict uh, of interest and value. Uh -huh. That was about uh, a conflict style. What, what about, about management style? Which one did they select? The accommodation, the avoid, the collaboration, the compete. Which one? Uh-huh. Which one did they select? Which one do you think? Confidence. Uh-huh. We have compete, collaborate, compromise, accommodate, and avoid. So which one they choose? For me, it will be accommodate. Accommodate. Okay, that's one of them. Okay, what will be another one? 
a boy. A boy? Yeah. Why, Freddy's? Because he's trying to avoid um to be a conflict between both of them. Ah. One of them want to work at night because the other one, I think the other one is getting a better payment. So he want to have a better salary. So that's why he want to work at night. Ah. So he tried to find a solution as a boy in the problem. But a boy is basically, the definition that we saw is basically when the employees don't want to talk to each other or don't want to discuss the conflict. Mm. So yeah, oh, yeah. Well, accommodate is good, yes. But maybe there is something else better than the void. Think about it. Compromise. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. That could be one of them. Find a mutually satisfaction. Aha. Okay. Uh, guys, are you agree with what Freddie said? Fernando, Telma, Josuito, Doris, Andres. Are you agree with him? Or do you think that your coworkers use another type of a management style? What do you think? Erwin, I don't know, Alex, Kenya? It's hard, right? I guess. Uh huh. I'm agree with Fred is, is, uh, is better to get a compromise. Uh huh. But yes, tell me that. Very good, thank you. Eh, okay, so Jarvin and Amelia, uh, eh, is is that is that correct? What Freddie said? Yes, it was accommodate and compromise. Ooh, very good, Freddie. You're like something's burning here. All right. <laughs> Very good, very good, guys. Excellent. I need a second example. Doesn't matter if it's only one. Freddy, who do you work with? Uh, with um, Telma. With, with what? With Telma? Yeah. Telmita? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All righty, guys. Oh, you said yes with me. You see how excited <laughs> she is. <laughs> all righty. Okay. So the scenario is all yours. Go ahead. Well, it's a, it's a secretary. But uh, always, always <laughs> complained a lot. Always. <laughs> no kidding. But yes, and then uh, and she talking um, with with the general manager. Uh -huh. so call it Roberto. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so, mm -hmm. Go ahead. That she had a problem with uh, with your partner. Uh, what is the name? What? Pablo. Pablo. Okay. Uh -huh. Pablo. Yeah. Pablo was the general manager, with... and both of them are coworkers. Oh. Yes. Yeah, Pablo. Uh, Susie had a problem with Pablo because Pablo sent uh, don't send all report about material for, for uh, because she, uh, she have a uh, make uh, mm -hmm. purchase. Ah, oh, okay. What is the next, Freddy? Uh -huh. Go and ahead, Freddy. Robert's trying to find a solution. So he, uh, he scheduled a meeting with um, Susie and Pablo to uh -huh. solve the problem. Okay. When he when Robert got Pablo and Susie together, Pablo said that he was too busy. Uh -huh. That that was the reason why he wasn't able to send a report. Uh -huh. Then Robert ordered both of them to be organized with their time. Uh -huh. That was the solution. Ooh. Yes. So basically, that is a whole soap opera. You know what soap opera is? No. <laughs> when, when I, no, 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 no. When I when I said oh, that is a whole soap opera, that means it is a gran novela. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> so popular <laughs> because <laughs> yeah i was because imagining the entire situation like oh my god television is nothing compared with what they said then all oh, right <laughs> no but <laughs> just real you yeah, said. no i know i believe you i believe you so guys according to and that's it sorry i don't want to interrupt you that's yeah, it that okay it. okay cool yes Thank you, guys. That is a really good example as well. So, guys, tell us, according to what Tell Mita and Freddy's scenario, what is exactly the management style they selected? Because they already only work on one management style. So, which one it is? Which one do you think it is? Fernandito? William? William is, is eating a jocote? Yes. <laughs> it's a good one, right? It's a good one. <laughs> All right. Josecito? Erwin, which one do you think it is? Glendy? Only one volunteer, only one. I know everybody wants to participate, but only one. I need only one. Only one. <gasps> no, don't tell me, guys. Come on. Doris? Darwin, what do you think? Nobody wants to help you, Freddy's and Telmita. I'm sorry, but nobody wants to answer. Come on. No, don't be like that. Jervin, what do you think? Uh, the, the, the main problem is that in that scenario, uh -huh. we can use a lot of management style. This uh -huh. is the principal problem. I know, I know, <laughs> but pick one, one of them. Only one of them. Okay. And Freddie and Telmita will let you know if you are correct or not. I think collaborate. Collaborate. Yeah. It was, it, was yeah. it that? Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. You see the supervisor experience talks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Very good. Way to go, Jarvin. Excellent. Thank you, guys. That was a really good example as well. Excellent job. Hey, Joshi, what about you? Yes, like, tell me. Uh, yes, you tell me. <laughs> okay. who, who do you work with? I work with Jose and with Jose, sorry, and William. Okay, so let's listen to you three. Did did you have the time to to manage the two uh, styles or only one? Mm, well, we try to make the both, but I guess that the first one is completed. In this way, ah. we say like a conversation between uh, co workers. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So the scenario is all yours. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, hey William. I am really tired to see Diana being the top performance once again, and I got better numbers than her. My goodness. I got you. It's a pretty obvious situation. I think she likes the boss, and that's why it happens. Oops. I hope one day you will be the employee of the month. You should ask for a review of the number to clarify if it is real or if it is something that is given to her without deserving it. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a general feeling and stuff. I recommend that we request that the recognition of the employee of the month be made on basis of merit. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was good. Excellent. And you know what? I, I don't know, but I think Yoshi really failed right into the character. <laughs> she was like, it doesn't yeah. happen. <laughs> no, no, really. Maybe others, but, but no. Mm, yeah, well, that I am happens. I have a performance every single month, month teacher. I, I, I do not want to say that. It just come up with the, from the conversation, right? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that, that's good. That, you know, but we, that might happen. But you know what, William? You, you are a guy who want to make conflict, right? Maybe because, Sorry. yeah, maybe because she likes a supervisor. Goodness. <laughs> that, that, that is a real soap opera. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very good, guys. That was a really nice, nice, nice X scenario. Thank you so much. That's amazing. All right. So now, guys, help your coworkers. Which management style did they select? Which one do you think? 
this is a, li a little bit easy, but not too easy. But it could be too, I think is. No, but you don't have to rules, answer because. Of fraudulent intent and conflict of internet values. Aha, uh -huh, that was a conflict. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. But what about the rest, guys? What about the management and style? Which one did they select? Josue, William, and, Ta and Yoshi. Which one did they select? Which one do you think? William, Josue, and Yoshi? Zipper, right? Don't say anything. They need to guess. Aha, uh -huh, Fernandito in su rincón. Ole. <laughs> that was a, that's an old music. <laughs> Remember Maybe till collaborate we to 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 do an agreement or uh -huh. all, all win. Uh -huh. Collaborate. You say collaborate. Okay. Anybody else has another opinion? He says Fernandito. I don't know, Andres. Maybe Andresito. Yeah, I agree with Fernando. With Fernando. Okay, what about you, Kenya? Which management style did they select? Collaborate or something else? It could be collaborate. It could be, okay, very good. What about you, Doris? What do you think? I think I saw collaborate. Collaborate, okay. Collaborate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They, they are uh, uh they are uh, uh they are finding a, a solution together. Uh -huh. they are finding a solution. Okay, very good. Blanky, thank you, Doris. What about you? What do you think, Blanky? Or Alexander, which one has is ready handy? I think they went to do a cup of coffee. That could be. What about you, Fernando? No, Fernando, no, I know that I know. I only have you. No way. I know that I will be one on one with you, but no, no, no. I will leave you in peace for a while. Okay, Francisco, what about you? What do you think? <laughs> uh, I think that is a democratic. Democratic? Style. Ah. Because are you, uh, neutral? Are you no. sure? I don't know. That is your opinion. Uh, my idea. I, I your know. idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What about you, Freddie? What do you think? I was one of the first ones that says um collaborate when oh. I said it when you asked um Fernando. I know, but I just wanted to ask you just to double check. Yes, for me it's collaborate. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm teasing you. I don't want you to fall asleep. That's the reason why. <laughs> All righty. Telmita, are you agree with Freddy's and Fernando? Uh, I guess so, but mm -hmm. it's also mm -hmm. uh, is uh, compete. Compete. Aha. Yeah. All righty. Compromise. All right. Mm -hmm. Compromise and compete. Compromise and compete and collaborate. Got the three of them. Collaborate, yeah. Uh -huh. Erwin, are you agree? For me, the industry is so important in the company. Uh -huh. Because you have a justice, okay? You can be a collaborator, you, have, you, can, be, you, can, you can be a manager, mm -hmm. but the injustice is the first problem in one company, in the uh -huh. company. Exactly. So you think that which minor of manage style did they select based on their dialogue? Avoid, compromise, collaborate? Compr compromise. 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 Okay. Yes, compromise. All righty. Thank but you so the much. Problem is, if you have a problem with the bad manager, in the, in the pen, you know, we select other people, other kind of people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Very good, thank you. So, Josue, uh, William, and Joshi, which ones was the management conflict that you select? Or the management style, sorry, that you select? Which one was it? Josuecito? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, 
First, we select um, company of internet value, but I changed my opinion. I <laughs> call no. it the Franklin's uh, intent. No, that is type of conflicts. Very good. Okay. Well, what about the management styles? Management styles. Avoid, collaborate, compromise, compete. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only one, Joshi? Or it could be more than one? Thank you, Jesusito. It's ah. the one that was praised for and it's the one. transformation. Yes. All righty. Very good. Guys, excellent job. Very, very good. All righty. <laughs> How do you feel about this exercise? Is it interesting? Okay, yes. let's, let's do some warm up yes, activities, right? Because I know that you somebody's like, right, right, right. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have you ever played broken telephone? <laughs> and it's easiest, oh. it's easiest when we're alive, right? Because it's like, I'm just like whispering in your ear, the masses, and you need to pass it to everybody. But um, in this case, I'm going to play it in a different way. I will select one of you guys and I'm going to send the message, okay? But I will send it in like, um, how can I say it? Like a voice message, like a WhatsApp voice message. And then that person needs to listen. I, guys, I want, I, want to, I want you to do me something. But I'm going to let you know the instructions before I finish explaining to you, after I finish explaining to you. Okay, let's pretend, I can't, this is an example. I'm going to select Telmita, for example. I will send her a voice message with one sentence, sentence related to anything, okay, anything. But she needs to listen the message quickly because I will delete it. And she needs to pick somebody else from the group and repeat the message that I originally sent it to her, all right? So the challenge is that she must uh, transmit the message as original as possible, all right? And then I, we're going to say, okay, stop, for example. And then I'm going to ask, who was the person got the message at the last? And that person needs to say, hey, that was me, teacher, for example. And then I'm going to ask you, what message did you receive? And we need to double check if at the end that person got the original message or was totally a different thing. Got it? So that's a broken telephone, right? Doris, did you understand? Yes. Erwin, did you understand? Yes. Okay, so the next person is going to uh, send the voice message to another uh, classmate, but as soon as the classmate listens to it, you need to er erase immediately your voice message, right? So because you're not allowed to listen for two or more times. You got what you got and then transmit the message to somebody else. But I'm going to let you know who you're going to send the message to, okay? Okay, so... We're going to do something. I know that we cannot play everybody, right? Because if not, we're going to take the half, the rest of the half of the hour. And no way. I know that you will love that, but no. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be the one who's going to send the message. So I need a collaboration. I need, a, I'm going to work with, uh, with William. I'm going to work with Freddy's. I'm going to work with Doris, Erwin, Telmita, and Fernando. Okay. So let's do that. I will transmit the information to Freddy. Listen. So I'm going to send the message to Freddy. Freddy is going to send the message to William. William will send the message to Erwin. Erwin will send the message to Thelma, and Thelma will send the message to Fernando. I repeat it. I repeat it. Teacher. Send the message to Freddie. Yeah. Freddie, send the message to William. William, send the message to Erwin. Erwin, you're going to send the message to Thelma, 
and Thelma will send the message to Fernando. So Fernando is supposed to be the one who finally provides that information that he got, okay? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to double check who did the broken telephone, okay? I ah. don't know what is it. Is it, do it uh, number, time, phone right? number to Fernando? <laughs> ah, you, you need to look there on the I WhatsApp, come on. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's start. Uh, guys, I want everybody to put your microphone off because you're going to listen to the, 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 ma the message, right? And if you put your turn your on your cam your microphone, everybody will be listening. So come on, no way. All right, you ready? Okay, let's work right now. <laughs> ready? You gotta be careful, okay? I'm going to send it to you right now. Let me check here. Where are you, Freddy? Let's see, because some of you have the name and some of you does not. Freddy, do me a favor. What, what, what is going to be the last four digits of your phone? The last four digits. Two zeros. What? Zero, zero. One five zero zero. One five zero zero. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got it, yes. Oh my God, you look so nice. Okay. But, but you have to turn up your microphone, right? I know, yes. It's now I'm asking him because I want to ask him that information. But I'm going to turn off the, the microphone as well. No. Yeah, I, I always forget my instructions. Don't worry about that. Okay, I just sent the message, okay? Let's wait for uh, Freddy's, he needs to send it to William. But you need to send a voice message to William, uh, Freddy's. I did already. Okay, cool. Okay, listen, William, the message, then uh, try to create a voice message and send it to Erwin, okay? Did you send it already, William? Wait a minute, I'm on it. Hurry up. Look at Elmita, she's like, she's so nervous, right? <laughs> Don't worry, Elmita. <laughs> You did already? Yes, I did. Okay, Erwin, uh, William already sent you a message. Listen to it and then delete it and send the message to Telmita, okay?
Did you send a message to Telmita already, Erwin? Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> I just want to listen what Fernando's going to get. I have an internet, but I don't have the, the I have an internet, I need to restart my computer, but I don't have the message. I can listen, I can listen to you. Turn on mute, teacher. Thank you, guys. Did you send a message already, Erwin? No, no. teacher. No, teacher. You can use your WhatsApp, your phone. Yes. Yes. Okay. So do me a favor. Try to search for Telma and send the message that you just received from William. Whatever you got, don't worry. And let us know when you have done that so Telma can share the message to Fernando. If you still have a problem uh, with the internet, let us know, okay? You did already or no? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Do me a favor, William. Send a message to Telmita. Whatever you remember, okay? Don't worry, Erwin. Don't worry. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not it was not your fault. Don't worry about that. It's internet connection problems, internet connection problems. So that's okay. Don't worry about that. Erase it, William, okay? As soon as you listen it. Somebody's eating his nails. I don't know who. All right, Talmita, if you're ready to listen, send it to Fernando, please. You did already? William wrote to me. William. No, no message. The, the, no ah, message. don't worry. Don't worry. If yeah. he wrote to you, that's okay. Read it yeah. and then send a message to Fernando with your voice. Like a voice message. Okay, just read it. And William, do me a favor, erase what you sent to Telmita, please. Erase it. So she needs to send whatever she keep in her mind. You have the option to meet that to send it by voice or to send by text, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Wait William for the mess. Roll, roll to me. Yes, I know that that's okay. Don't worry about that. All that you gotta do is erase what you receive from William, erase it. And then the message 
you have to send to Fernando, but you have to send it from your WhatsApp and send it with in writing or in voice, whatever you keep in mind. Do you understand, Termita? Or yes, no? and I had to send a voice uh, to Fernando. To Fernando, yes. Whatever the message that you got from William. No, no mandes el mismo mensaje de William. Lee lo que te mandó William y, 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 y quítalo. Y manda yeah, writing yes. or voice. Okay, cool. Okay. Just, you, you have one minute. Go ahead. Okay, Fernando. <laughs> I'm just excited about what's the message he's gonna get. <laughs> I just receive, I, I, I am listening. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> what? You look at his face like, what? <laughs> okay, Fernando, <laughs> hey, tell us what was the final message that you received? <laughs> He's just laughing. <laughs> no. Tell me that what did you do? <laughs> Why? Yeah, I don't know, but he received a message. Look at his face, like, what? <laughs> okay, Fernando, Wait, those, is... yeah, tell us <laughs> what was the message? Whatever you could get. I didn't understand, but uh -huh. something like, uh, <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, like a, to be a uh, soft or something like that until to go to sleep. <laughs> you <laughs> like to be soft until you go to sleep. Wow, you you put something some, like that, some cream on your skin or what? You had to get prepared. I don't know. Oh but, my but, god! But I mean, <laughs> oh my, who was who did the broken telephone here, right? <laughs> I think it was weird. Then what was the original message? I will let you know. The original message was nothing to do with getting soft before going to sleep. I told Freddie, please tell Fernando to go back to sleep. <laughs> so nothing to do with it. Come on. <laughs> You, William sent me this communication, this communication, or poor communication. <laughs> All righty, I know we are laughing, but guys, this is a uh, is not only to relax a little bit, but at the same time, this kind of exercises is help us with our listening skill, right? And with our dictation skill, okay? You see, and memory. We're having fun, but at the same time, we're practicing and developing our skills. You see how it's really important to communicate the message like the way it is. <laughs> that is a completely disaster. Maybe William or Telmita. I don't know who who were the who was a broken telephone. I don't know, but I think we. <laughs> Freddie told me that. So I said that he just said to be so how to tell Fernando to go back to sleep. Uh -huh, yeah, exactly. I, I tell I tell Telma uh, to be so kind to tell Fernando to go back to sleep. <laughs> I don't understand it. You know what I like from you guys is that you are adding some polite extra words, right? To make not only to make long the message, but at the same, but at the same time to make it more polite, which I really, <laughs> which I really like the most. Hey, that was hey guys, do you like this exercise? Do you like it? <laughs> it was kind of funny and crazy, right? You know what? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's really nice. For example, alive because we have time. And then everybody's like, 
passing that information through, right? And is a bigger quantity of students like a more excited, right? But due to the, the time that we have and that and nobody, not everybody can participate in, but I really appreciate your collaboration, guys. Do you like this one? <laughs> I, it was really crazy. Sorry, Fernando, but at least you got a nice message at the end. <laughs> All righty, very good, excellent. Yeah, Guys, sleeping, uh, uh, I, he was <laughs> sleeping, but I think he's already awake. <laughs> All righty. Very good, guys. Okay, so after we're having so much fun and stress out a little bit, let's continue right now with our topics. Um, basically, what we have done is really nice, and I really congratulate for all of you who have done a really amazing job. Um, basically, uh, there is like a grammar topic that I want to point out, which is also going to help us with this kind of situation. Uh, but I just want to know if you have heard about that or if you have used it once or in a while, or if you have used it uh, recently. Have you ever listened about conditionals? No? Yes? No? Volunteers? So yeah, so. conditionals? Yeah? Okay. We have zero, yeah. one, two, and three. One, two, three. Uh, exactly, yeah. conditionals. Do you know what is the conditional use it for? Any idea? I just want to know. Let me give you an idea. If, for example, if you study hard, you will pass the course. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. Okay. That is, that is the example of first conditional. First conditional, guys, actually, that one is, for example, the first conditional has the present simple after if and then the future simple in the other clause. For example, it will be if plus present simple plus will plus infinitive. And basically we use it to express a real or a very probable situation in the future. Let me give you an example here, but let me show it to you really quickly because then we're going to have a really amazing and another fun situation, okay? But I just wanted you to focus on this one, first of all. Let's see, no, this one it is, there you go. Okay, let me put it here. Okay, can you see it, guys? Is it clear, yeah? Yes? Or no? Yeah. Okay, cool. All righty, this is what we call first conditional. This is the if part, okay? That is a possible situation, for example, if you get a high paying job, si encuentro un trabajo que me da mucha plata, what will be the consequence? You will have more cash to spend. Si tú tienes un trabajo que tenga mucha plata, te dé mucha plata, tendrás más dinero para gastar. Sí o no? That's one of them. Mm -hmm. The second one, Amelia, do me a favor. Help me read the second sentence, please. Yes, uh, let me see. If you have more cash to spend, mm, let uh -huh. me see. Mm -hmm. uh, the second, you'll be yeah. able to. Mm -hmm. you, you'll be able to buy anything you want. Uh-huh, exactly. So third consequence, Doris, can you please help me read this, the third one, please? This one. If you have can buy anything you want, you won't save your money. Ah, you won't save your money. Uh -huh. And the last one, Andresito. So if okay. you don't save your money, you may need another job. Exactly. So if you see guys in the if part, we're talking about first conditional, okay? There's more conditionals, but we're focusing right now in the first conditional because that is the most common one that you will be able to use in your workplace. So if you see, we have if, if, if here. Yeah. Then of course we have the subject, right? But you see, the this is what kind of verb tense is past, present, or future, guys? Here. Present. Present, present. exactly. So we can use either in 
regular verb or irregular verb. That's okay. If you get, if you have, if you can, but also guys, we can do it in a negative way if you don't say, right? So if you do, if you do this, what will be the probably consequences? In the other part, for the consequence, you can use the future with will, with may, or with might. Do you remember what type of verbs are this? Especially, uh, this, is, this is future, right? Future we possibilities. Uh -huh. Exactly. Is that what we called? Model verbs, remember? May or might? Uh huh. Yeah. So you can use uh, either or to express a future consequence that is a probability that happens if this first action appears first. All righty. However, while you do that, take a look, guys, um, that will, you can use it. Um, in this case, abbreviated. Okay. That is apostrophe LL, and you pronounce it I'll, you'll. You see, I'll, that is the way that you pronounce it. In the second one, I'll be able to, okay? I know guys that you, you already know that this is the abbreviation of will, but I want you to do me a favor. When you see will abbreviated, don't, don't pronounce you will have, no. Pronounce it like the way that you, say, that you see it. If you use it in abbreviated way, you should pronounce it in an abbreviated way. You said, I'll be able to. No, I will be able to. Because it is not writing completely, it's abbreviated. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes? Okay. And also guys, what is the, the negative of will? Won't. That is the abbreviation of, of will not. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And may, of course, is the other one. Okay, I'm going to write something here so you can have it here. Okay, will not equals want. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. so want is the abbreviation of will not if you would like to use it in a negative way. Now, I want you guys to take into consideration something when you are writing. When you separate this first part the present with if, with a consequence, do you see that we have a comma here? So in writing, after you use the if part, you definitely need to use a comma when you are um, writing the second part, which in this case is the consequence, okay? So that is really, really important. May I know, so far, are we okay with this? or you have a question right now? So far, so good? I will give you more examples, so don't worry about that. But I just wanna know if you're okay with that or you do have any doubts. Teacher. Yes, honey. Uh, is I, uh, se, in, se podría decir, you can, you can will, or you, or you, you can will. You, oh. you can win. Will. will. Win de ganar? No, will. The future. No, you will. No, tú no puedes, tú no puedes usar dos modos, dos verbs dos ver juntos. Un modo ver y un future, no. O you will no. or you can. Puedo usar un can y otro. Por ejemplo, you can win. For example, eh, quiero ver. Mm, if you buy the lottery, ¿sí? si tú eh, compras la lotería, you can win, tú puedes eh, ganar, you can win the price, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Okay. ¿Oye, sí? Yes, yes. Ok. All right, miren, tengo un ejemplo aquí. Tengo la A y tengo la B. La A, I have the if part. And the B, I have the possible consequences. Can you help me? Me dicen cuál va para cuál? Please. For example, Doris. If you eat less sugar, ¿cuál should podría make. ser la consequence? A, B, C, D, oh. E, or F. Which one do you think? To make feel a lot healthier. healthier. Ah, letter B? Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good one. 
What about William, number two? If you walk to work every day. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Very good, that's a good one. Joshi, if you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay away in the class. Ajá, uh -huh. eso yo no sé para quién se lo digo. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just teasing you. Very good, Joshi. Um, Freddy's, if you change jobs. It's Freddy. next year. You will have more money to spend on yourself. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Andresito, if you don't get married, you'll be single. <laughs> Ash, and then, uh, according to the option that we might have. Uh -huh, Andresito, we have B and F. A and F, sorry. Uh, you may not like, like it better than your own. Aha, uh -huh, very good. And if you travel abroad, you will, able to You'll be able to experience a new exactly. Country. You know what is abroad? Exactly. exactly. Very good. Oh my god, you are so smart. Excellent. Good job. All righty. Very good. Do you like if? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to do some more practice about if, but this is going to be so much fun because we're going to be a little romantic. Just to give you like okay. a heads up. <laughs> All righty. Okay, guys, you know what? Time passed really fast. I cannot imagine that. Woo, we're good to go. Okay, so you're free to go except for Fernando. I will bye, stay with him. Care. Okay, bye guys. Hi, to Jesus. Have a lovely night. Take care. Thank you. Bye. You too. Don't leave, Fernando. Please don't go. <laughs> Aha! We're on a one-on-one -on -one session. How you feel, Fernando? Feel good? Uh, good. Yeah. A little tired, but I know. I know. I think it's everybody, right? But but I can see that today you are awake. <laughs> Just so that you were really tired. Yes. Uh, uh, Usually, uh, some sometimes, uh, uh -huh. uh, sometimes I am uh, doing something of my work mm -hmm. while while I am in the class. <laughs> really? Wow! So, but you do not have a specific schedule, or your schedule is randomly. No, no. Uh, I have a, a schedule. Uh, Fix I it. work from uh -huh. from seven a.m. to five p.m. every day. Ah, okay. Uh, except the the Friday. The Fridays I finished my my uh, my, shift? At, yeah, my shift at uh, 4 p.m ah so that is your short day yes an hour an hour less less one hour but you still have uh the same time for break and lunch uh, i i have one hour to to have oh. to have it to have lunch that's lucky you i only have 50 minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's okay but that's nice I'm so happy. And tell me, how do you feel about the topics? The topics? Uh -huh. uh, that, are, that are interesting. And sometimes, uh, in, my, in my case, uh, I don't like to, to read a lot. For example, I prefer to, to, that, that, to be honest, I prefer to resolve some maybe math problems or uh -huh. something like that. It because I, I like to do that uh -huh. instead of reading or reading. something like that of course of course i think it's because of the area that you basically work every single day that you are more analytic right yes but i uh -huh. have to i have to read uh, to to, to, to find problems. some maybe problems that i have to to resolve every day but mm -hmm. that is different i i i like i i have to read for a a, a, a purpose not for i don't uh -huh. know uh, uh -huh. I, I like to get to, to I like to get knowledge uh, ready, but uh, I prefer I prefer to read something like I, I like something uh -huh. I like. Of course, of course, that's definitely I think all of them, right? Yeah, but you think that so, everything that we have seen so far it is useful for you? 
Uh, yes, it's, it's useful. Uh, the vocabulary, the new vocabulary, for example, uh, the new words are, are always are welcome for me because I don't know that you said, for example, I have to, to speak to another person that they uh, maybe uh, knows about the, these topics and something, the, the topic can appear and I have uh -huh. to, I have to speak with a person. Yeah, you had to talk, right? For example, okay. all the situation that we passed today. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, tell me, do you feel that um, you still need some reinforcement about a specific topic that we have seen so far? Or you understood everything right now? I, un I understand, but sometimes uh, in my cases, my, my problem maybe is in the, the regular verse in past. That is one of the problems that I have. And another problem is uh, I think a lot before speaking. Mm -hmm. That is a big problem because I I know I am I am I am trying to translate the, oh, the words in my head in okay. maybe I don't know how how to express to yourself join, to join or express in, because uh -huh. I I know the uh, are there are different uh, ways to, to express uh, the the same the same mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Exactly, you're right. But you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Sometimes you are feel a little bit distracted. But I know, I know because now I understand. But because sometimes you are in the class, but at the same time you're still working on something. Yes, that you need I, to. Sometimes so I do understand I that working. perfectly. That happens, of course. I do understand. IT agents are twenty four seven. I always say that. I know. Yeah. I and hope that in the future, I. <laughs> Yeah. I want, I will be part of that. <laughs> you no, know, I understand because you know what? I remember that my husband used to work with HP, right? And sometimes um, they had to have like a specific meetings every single day, uh, 12 noon here. And that is 1 p.m. there in Panama because they were working directly with Panama. So I was like, <clears throat> because sometimes he has to like having lunch and at the same time having a meeting. So like, and I was like, Oh my God, you cannot imagine. It was really tough for him that whole year, especially with his backup problems, because sometimes if he like a start, uh, his shift starts at like eight. But for example, if he enjoys and try to start sending a message, for example, and six, oh my God, they were like, oh, he's there. So they were starting to send a bunch of emails and all the stuff. And I was like, but you are not starting your shift. Yes, but they know that I'm already logged in. So they started sending me a bunch of emails. And I was like, damn. So this is really hard for him. It was really hard. So I do but, understand that IT is really tough position. I understand that. It has but, a lot of responsibilities. Uh, but I, under, I, I understand it. he worked from home. Yeah, well, the last, the last um, year. Uh, I cha I changed my job position on um, July the last year. Ah, no, no, no. Um, mm -hmm. I I was working from home and uh, and today I have to to go to the office because the, the new job uh -huh. it, requires that. It, this is a requirement uh, to okay. be there to be there to work in the site. Yes. Ah, okay. No, no, no. In this case, no. Uh, the whole life, all his life was working in the site. But the last uh, year that he worked from that company, he was from home. But I think it was really tough for him to work from home, that to work in the site, because on the site, you have time to go to lunch and you stand up and walk to the cafeteria to have your lunch or your breaks and everything. But it, at least he did some kind of physical activity right but when he was at home oh my goodness he suffered a lot of back problem because from the moment that he sits in front of that computer he does not like stand up until he finishes shift so it was uh, really tough to be honest i prefer to, to work from home because Me too. <laughs> uh, the schedule is flexible uh, is for example, sometimes I, I yes, I I had a schedule when I was working from home, but uh -huh. uh, I I I knew the 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 objective, the, the activity that I have to do, and maybe the time, mm -hmm. the time is, is very important, but is 
there isn't uh, there isn't a person that he is on my shoulder, for example. Oh. Yeah. Uh, looking, looking that that I doing it. In, in, in my home is is it's nice. Yes, you it's can nice. you can always be with flip flops, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> a little bit more 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 relaxed, if I can say. It. But in this yes, case, it was very really tough for him. You cannot imagine. Yeah, yeah. that always. Uh, uh, finish finishing my Your job my job my my activities and at a time that is the most important thing uh, deliver the, the the my develop at time not lucky you because where he was in a different situation that you cannot imagine i will let you that sorry another day don't worry about that let me ask you something do you have any feedback for me Say it. Uh, Don't be afraid. Okay, I'm more than no, welcome. no. Uh, of, of you, no. But maybe no. <laughs> you you have to to check your internal connection or your ah, computer because you, you mm -hmm. have the delay. You have the delay every every day. You have the delay, yeah, but yes. it, it's isn't for maybe it's in you because it's the computer or the internet connection. I don't know. You know, you know, I use Claro to be honest with you. Because and they haven't given me any problems so far. Yes, and uh -huh. I I think maybe it could be the, the internet connection because when uh, you, be for example, said uh, I sent a, a picture or a voice uh -huh. message, we didn't we we, we didn't receive don't, we it, don't right? receive the, the message uh, instance, instantly. instantly instantly and maybe or immediately. Uh, yes immediately and uh, maybe. Uh, few seconds later uh -huh. the message came mm -hmm. got it that's a really good feedback and you know what i'm dealing with them but i need a, i think i'm going to send a message tomorrow because they already they are not 24 7 right <laughs> but i'm going to send the message tomorrow because that's the first time that happens to me i have 40 megabytes i, ha I have 50 but 50 uh, wow it's because of the type of yard that you do mm -hmm. yes and um, well and that's i i had uh, but I didn't. I don't use the that connection because I I I am be here every day uh -huh. until night. But in this case, in my case, yes, I use it. <laughs> yes, because uh, I do a lot of maybe the uh, the the upload speed is is failing. Uh huh. Or maybe I need to reinitiate the the what what is the what is the name of that? No, but, but for, the router. Uh, the, 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 the blood speed is, 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 is the most important thing uh -huh. when you are, you are streaming. Exactly. You're right about that. Let me double check right now that uh, with them, and then hopefully they fix it for me. But besides that, do you have any other feedback? No, no. For me, all, all are, are great. Oh, well, I do really so, appreciate it. To be honest, all, all great for me. What I understand they... that all that you said, and I, I, I am here some accent like uh, a British. In, I do for have example, it. water, computer. That, that is different for me because I, I don't like the people. <gasps> no, 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 sorry, sorry. I don't uh, talk to people like that. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> no, no, I don't talk to people because the, 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 the previous teacher that I, that I had, they have an accent, something like that. Uh, American or maybe a Salvadorian learning English, for example. <laughs> ah, uh, yes, of course, it depends, but that's the way I learned it. That's the way I speak every single day. And you know, I think it's because, um, besides that, I uh, I learned English with British guys. Also, I speak uh, three languages, which include French. And I think that is one of the reasons because. The more language you speak, your tongue is more twisted, right? Yes. So that could be one of the reasons. I think so. Yes, We're going uh, to press the French maybe, later on. <laughs> maybe it can help because some words are very, uh, how do you say? Uh, can you you can hear the, the, the exact, exactly the, the how do you spell the, the word because uh -huh. the, the accent is there. It's, it's, it's in that way. Exactly. So we're going to do more pronunciation exercises and I will talk with Claro tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 It's time to say goodbye. So hugs and kisses. Thank you so much for being an extra time with us. Okay. okay Have a night. lovely night. Bye-bye.